speaking of domestic violence and how Islam codifies it, it uh, legitimizes it. And that's why a lot of people think that, you know, it's a religious duty. And according to this Palestinian Islamic scholar as well. So what does he say? Let's have a look. The gems of, of wisdom from the Islamic scholarly world. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of him, isn't it? So nice. You're not sending us to A and E because you've beaten us to a pulp. How nice. He says say she should be beaten up, but should be something to be. That is not hard. <laughs> yeah, just don't send it. Not, not with a piece of pipe or a heavy rod, you know. Like, yeah, don't don't, don't leave marks, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave. What they mean to say is that don't leave any evidence. Evidence. That's <laughs> it. Yes, mate. <laughs> Isn't that so stupid? Is it, how stupid is this? I mean, the wife should be beaten in a way that will serve as deterrence for her. I mean, what if she is not affected by your light beating then? Wouldn't you? I mean, I'm just, I'm just going by their logic though, yeah? I'm just going by, by the patheticness of their logic. If you're going to go there, then this is only logical that, hey, look, I just, I, he just beat her softly, but she didn't, she didn't, she didn't listen to me. She didn't, you know, she, she didn't mend her ways. Didn't work. She yeah. wasn't disciplined. So now I had to up the ante a bit. So I just hit her harder and harder. Now it's gone to a, a pipe or a hot rod or whatever he was saying. Basically, you've that, got to do it what, to the point that she submits again, right? So if, if that's exactly. not right, you keep going, you keep going until, yeah. and what's the point that she doesn't, uh, she doesn't like when she's submitted is obviously when you've overpowered her she's probably knocked out at this point yeah. that's why she's been disciplined is because she can't defend herself or fight back against what you're trying to do yeah but anyway it, there, there, there is a there, there is a funny twist to this oh. Oh. What a disaster. What a disaster. What is she doing? Oh, She's out partying. What, what a tragedy. Treason <laughs> of the highest kind. <laughs> Even though she had not told him anything. <laughs> she doesn't want to, oh, where, did, where did she go? He does not know where, where she, she went. Is she with another man? I'm so insecure oh. because I'm a horrible human being. And if my wife is let out, run away and never come back to me. What should he say to it? And, and and what did they say? They always say that um, men who are um, you know like who are very insecure about their performance in in bed, they're the ones who are always worried about. Oh, she's cheating on me. She's probably going somewhere else to get it because she ain't getting it at home. <laughs> exactly. Eyes are gonna wonder. My dear, <laughs> how many? You know, he throws, he throws it in my chair. Like, in between beatings. My dear, why? You know, you oh know like God. how they they lay down the bed. You know, like how how they say. You know, like the poor man. He he he's absolutely pushed in the corner. The poor Never guy. Seen. Yet he was he was trying his best to be the best and softest guy on earth. He was left with absolutely no choice. He was like, my dear love, I love you so much. What are you doing? But anyway. <laughs> here we Why go. are you at my beck and call in my service 24-7? My dear, you're, you're, this is not good. Allah has told you to be my slave. <laughs> it's haram. It's haram. Haram <laughs> Don't be upset. Go to her. يجب على الرجل أن يعظها وأن يسلمها وأن إذا لم تتعظ. No, no, I think he's going to give the three steps. Yeah, this is the three steps coming. It's look, the bed marking is already underway. First way you're out. يهجرها فإن لم تتعظ يضربها. Oh, he didn't actually give three steps. He just went straight to it. He said, "You should beat it." Oh no, there you go. Uh, yeah, first he's told her, then he should sleep separately from her, and then beat it. Nice. <laughs> 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 
ويمنز رايتس يعني يعظمون حقوق الانسان وحقوق المراه وحقوق الانسان Learn conflict resolution from us. Islamic <laughs> conflict resolution and yes. dispute resolution is wah from Allah. Simple problem. Nobody likes it. You know, we have a we have a, we have a disagreement. No problem. Give it a left and right. You know, this we is have it. three oh, stones to wipe our bum <laughs> and three ways to fix a marriage. <laughs> exactly. Wait, what is, uh, but but where's the lie in that? Though he goes, they're liars. What, what's the lie in this? You could well, you could say lie, okay, the well they have a different because... method. Yeah, that's the lie. The different method equals you're a liar. Don't forget, anything against Islam is considered like just the worst, and you have to fight against it. كذبون دجالون دجالون هؤلاء الغرب ذهبوا إلى أمريكا كان فيها ملايين من البشر فأبادوهم أبادوهم قتلا دمارا أمريكا كان فيها يعني شعب كامل. Oh no, I think you're talking about the the Native Americans. Yeah. شعب كامل اسمه الهود entire nation called the Indians اعداد هذه الملايين اللي ما قتلوه بالرصاص by the way it's so stupid at that time when they were doing that when they were destroying the indigenous cultures they, at that time they were following islamic principles they were doing exactly, exactly. the same they were beating their so wives too they were beating one... their wives and they were conquering lands and had so funny how one colonial like empire is like gas- gaslighting the other one as if they're not one themselves <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. As if you've never sent colonial armies to other lands. He goes, okay, we're given virus ridden blankets until the disease. Virus ridden blankets? <laughs> they, didn't, they were not that, that smart. They didn't know that. <laughs> the disease is spread accidentally. They didn't know that. Their, their bodies were, they were not immune to viruses that, that, that came from them, uh, from Eurasia. They obviously, they didn't know that. They weren't that smart. <laughs> حتى قتلتهم الامراض الله ابادوهم اباده يعني وبيحكوا لك عن حقوق الانسان يا دي توك ابوت هيومن رايتس لوك ات لوك ات ذا سيريسنس ان هي هي جينيوينلي بيليفز وات هي سينج يو نو اتس لايك دي كيل ذا نيتيف امريكانز 300 ييرز اجو اند ناو دي هاف هيومن رايتس وات ذا هيل اي دونت نو اكزاكت اسك هيم جست وات محمد ديد تو ذا جيوش ترايب اند ذن يو توك ابوت هيومن رايتس وي كان دو ذا سيم ثينج وات ديد محمد ديد تو ذا جوز No, but it's so stupid. It's but he's so serious. It's like, yeah, done. Look, I've solved the problem. Solved how it. can how can a colonial power destroy an indigenous culture 300 years ago, and 300 years later they get civilized and they say, oh, maybe what we did was wrong, and maybe we should mend our ways and we should not treat women as inferior to us. We should treat them equally. How that doesn't make sense. That's called moral zeitgeist. It's called the evolution of your morality, you dickhead. Anyway, let's just go. They're, they're, you would have you would have lost him at moral. يعني الإنسان إذا كان عنده مبدأ فليقتل. لكن إذا مثلاً امرأة في إيران أرادت أن تخلع لباسها. It's always zero to hundred, isn't it? She wants to take off her hijab and she wants to be she wants to be naked. She wants freedom. Not she wants to be a prostitute. Yeah. It's always zero to hundred, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> and, and by the way, there's nothing wrong in being naked anyway. And, no. and, and definitely, there's nothing wrong in being naked in front of this guy because that thing ain't oh, working. God, please well. don't be naked in front of this man. He does not deserve to even lay eyes no, on him. No, but don't worry. He's not going to. No, but not, nothing's going to happen. He's not going to be able to do anything. Look at him. <laughs> he doesn't deserve any woman around him, to be honest, at all. America punishes Iran for killing this woman. ويعني تعاقب تعاقب ايران من امريكا لانها قتلت امراه رايت يعني who's a champion i want to see it i want to meet her she got to beat my husband every day no 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 we just joking no beating your partner whether you're a woman it's obviously that doesn't happen is exaggerating yeah i know i know but i just want to say it it just doesn't happen unless she's round round arousy and he's like You know, sorry about it. No, there are some women do. Women, you have to stop saying that. Some women do, okay? Very like, small, I, I think. It I, must be very small. Are, I don't I, know. I, I reckon there's mental trauma. So when you could speak, when people. you could hear or speak to the some of these men that also say they're experiencing this, you, some women can be extremely manipulative and they could, they, it's very different, okay? No, no, what, what I'm saying, look, okay, I'm, I'm, I, I know women can hit men, but I, I think they can, men can always... You know, restrain them or just get out. 
A woman is yes, not going to just come up. Also, that domestic doesn't... violence but is, a not woman... just, is not just physical. There's like emotional, psychological, financial. There's lots of things that women. Oh can yeah, do yeah. To of course, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something else. I'm talking about purely physical violence. I mean, I still think well, some women can hit them. Yeah, it's just you're not going to you're not going to do downward, obviously. You're not going to do much damage. Yeah, I know. He can, and, he can and, defend and himself a lot better. And 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 this is why I always say. There should never be any violence. There should never be any hitting because if a man hits back, then he's going to be in all sorts of trouble and rightly so. So that's why women should not hit and men should not hit. I reckon that, I don't know, like I've learned this as I get older. I'm like, yeah, if, if there's if there's shouting and screaming going on, just say, you know what, screw you. I'm getting out of there. Just remove yourself from the situation. Yeah, you know it's so funny. Oh my god, I think there's a hadith because this is what I used to re- uh, hear when I was a Muslim. That Prophet Muhammad said, "When you're angry, um, w- <laughs> remove yourself from the situation and come back when you're like calm down." And that's obviously, I mean, that's what people say anyway. When you're angry, like never react in a, in a moment of exactly. That's such a good thing. That's what I used to tell people when I was Muslim. Like Prophet Muhammad, you know, he also said that's as well, like, never, never respond in a moment of anger. Like remove yourself, take some, take a moment, and then come back. Um, so yeah, that, 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 yeah, that's maybe going to be my one good teaching of Islam if somebody asks me. But um, yeah. I'm not sure where that. No, where but that he didn't is. live up to it though. He didn't, he live, didn't up. live up to it himself. Yeah, but no, no, he 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 lived up to it himself. He never hit hit, hit his wives. No, but Harris, but, um, he had like he green light to go and like have someone yes. killed. Yeah, so in a moment where he heard that he had said something against him or whatever, so even in, he's ordering things in the moment in the, the thick of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so he, um, uh, so he may not have uh, uh, hit them himself, but there were people around him beating, beating women and wives all the time. Omar Ali, all these guys were not, not Ali. No, Ali didn't beat up um, uh, Fatima, not that we know of, uh, but he did beat up uh, Aisha's slave girl. Anyway, um, also, sorry, so, just so listen, one woman, remember Horace? Just so, just, just one last thing. Um, with women as well it's very different right because if you're even in a situation where if you've been being abused for example remember that like there's a case where obviously a woman set her husband on fire um in the middle of the night one night because it was just cumulative build-up of like abuse for years i'm talking years on Ooh, end yeah. we're being um i i, I will we'll talk about it properly next week um if that's okay but it's a really really famous case here in the uk but again i t- i was telling you as well like a few weeks ago remember that story of the oh, woman wow. who actually cooked her husband into nahari and fed oh, it to she the she fed it to the cops yeah i, I read had, that one they were eating the evidence as oh my god uh, investigating and um, the the murder itself they were actually eating the evidence talk, so yeah talk, it's, about, uh, talk, talk about disposing of the dead body and it um, wow um okay listen to this one Let, let's finish this story تقول أنا كل يوم أضرب زوجي والمذيع يقول لها لماذا تضرب تقول هكذا أنا أتمتع في ضربي والمرأة إن لم تضربها فإنها قد تضربه That was a funny man If you do not beat your wife she might end up beating you What? Oh my God <laughs> how, do they, how do you create these kind of specimens oh no sorry i am uh, islam but how do you create these kind of how are you that age and sitting there on tv and thinking that makes any sense so, what so, so 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 logically speaking okay so you're it's good that you're condemning a woman who beats his wife uh, her husband yeah so it's good you're doing but you got to apply the same logic and you got to say okay well you should not encourage you should also condemn a man who beats his wife yeah but uh but who's going yep. who's going to speak to these people yeah and Horace was so cute cuz you're like begging for them to see the logic of it and you're like but ha-, and it's like oh he's re- it's just phew, never but it's never going to work it's gone right over his head or through his beard or whatever <laughs> let me let me let me share some islamic hadiths uh regarding wife beating so obviously uh, this all stems from this quranic verse uh, chapter 4 verse 34 i think you, um, infamous. you know that you yeah the infamous this. verse yeah. that if you <laughs> yeah if you fear disobedience from your wife then you know first uh, stop talking to her then uh, stop sleeping with her and then beat her 
Okay. Uh, the, the multiple uh, translations, they all say beat. The key word here is daraba, which means beating. Okay. So there's some hadiths as well. So Ibn Majah 1869, it says, um, so once Prophet Muhammad, uh, uh, some women asked Prophet Muhammad, hey, who, who should I mar marry? Yeah. So the Messenger of Allah said to me, when you become lawful, tell me. So I told him, then Muabiya, uh, blah, 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 proposed marriage to her. So the Messenger of Allah said to, said, as for Muabiya, so uh, this is Prophet Muhammad is giving advice to a woman. He's a poor man who has no money, so don't marry him. As for Abu Jam, he's a man who habitually beats women, so don't marry him. But Usama is good. So she just gestured with her hand, gestured with her hand, saying, Usama, Usama. So the Messenger of Allah said to her obedience to Allah. So anyway, so the point here is Prophet Muhammad knew that there were people around her. So obviously he 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 saw that this is not a good idea. So he, so he did give her a good advice to don't marry him. He's a wife beater. So he's probably going to end up beating you as well. So don't marry him. So he did give her a good advice. But the point is, what the hell did he do? There it is. And why is Allah discouraging people from this? You know, like this is a Quranic verse. Allah's and just ruling. On, even on top of that, when Omar has the audacity to say, don't you dare question why a man beats his wife that's come directly from the authority of muhammad himself saying a man who beats his wife shouldn't be questioned as to why he beats her yeah. and omar actually used that as his defense when he was going hard like literally going hard to the point where uh, he was beating this woman so badly that somebody actually had came because of the commotion that was being caused and instead of stopping or inciting muhammad's example as to why this was wrong omar then turned around and used that um completely as his justification for don't you dare question the the sounds you're hearing or the way this woman is being beaten up don't and that's again islam is just it's got enough dirt in there for it just to for it to just never be a something out of society that we can just discuss as like a cultural thing when we see people who are muslim and also experiencing this we have to make that connection yeah uh, the, this this is the hadith uh, Nuria is talking about when uh, this guy went to stay with Umar one night. He just woke up in the middle of the night because he heard the screams of this woman. So he he tried to separate them, and then Umar, the second caliph, said that oh uh, whatever his name was, uh, this guy is uh, oh Ashat. Uh, um, I heard from the prophet a man should not be asked why he's beating his wife. So there you go. So Prophet Muhammad did endorse. He said, you know, it's a private matter. Uh, there's another hadith, Sahih hadith, where Prophet Muhammad said, do not beat your wife as you would beat your slave girl. So, you know, don't beat her with pipes and, you know, don't. Uh, but the point here is you're allowed to beat your slave girl. Ah, right, right. Okay, that's such a glorious religion, isn't it? And and again, look at that, that disgusting. What does that do? That is creating this hierarchy of women already in your uh, what do you say gabza in english in your yeah, um captivity in your yeah basically in your captivity these are women so you either own them as in they're your property either as a wife or a sex slave but notice this so your wives already are obligated to cover as believing women should slaves mm, no you shouldn't really be covering that way hijab's not on you and also the beating that you could be subjected to as a slave should not be as harsh as the beating a wife might be subjected to so within yeah. women you have created such a stark hierarchical division which is just disgusting the foundations of it are so very disgusting yeah yeah um uh, so either way, this is why you might never have heard this hadith because <laughs> Muslims kind of, if, if that was only this much, do not beat your wife. Then they would have been like, ah, look, our dear prophet said that. Uh, yeah. But he said, as you would beat your slave girl. Meaning, we're, so ex-Muslims or Islam critics would be like, well, hang on a second. Okay, prophet is saying don't beat your wife at, like, like very severely. But what do you mean by as you beat your slave girl? So, you know, how could Prophet not say that? Hey, don't beat your wives and slave girls like animals. You know, he could have said that, but he didn't. Anyway. I think the Bible also one. instructs you on how to beat your slave. Uh, uh, Habib, daughter of Saul, was the wife of Tabib. He beat her and broke some part of her. So she came to the Prophet after morning. Wow. So she's actually, Harris, wait, just focus on that for a second. We yeah, just read yeah. it like it's nothing. This was the woman right. that was beaten so badly that he broke some of her part. Like, can you only imagine? Oh. That, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He, wow. He literally broke her arm and a leg, and, or, or arm or a leg or some sort of a limb. He, he broke her limb. And um, 
and and he uh, and, and mind you, this is not the time you could just go to the hospital and get your arm plastered up. No, no you, you couldn't do that. This no, is it. She, she's A&E probably disabled for life. Yes. Her bone is not going to heal properly, and all. Why did that happen? Because of some row, some fight, some quarrel that they had, and one man did this. But but listen to this, but listen to what happens. So she came to the prophet after morning and complained to him against her husband. The prophet called on Tabib and said to him, take a part of her property and separate yourself from her. He asked, is that right, messenger of Allah? He said, yes, I've given her two gardens of mine as a dower, and they are already in her possession. The prophet said to her, take them and separate yourself from her. How is that justice, Maria? <sighs> That's making my blood boil. I don't know. You so A, he wasn't punished. No part of him was broken. B, he was actually given get out of jail card. And C, she even had to return the dowry that she had received. She lost a part of her body. She lost her virginity. She got beaten up, probably humiliated in that relationship. And he walks out scot-free. Nothing. Doesn't even lose money. What happened to the Hakmahad thing? You know, like, the, that, that's how pathetic it is. That and and that and this is and they want us to tell they want to tell us that this guy is the greatest feminist of all time. I mean, with what face do they say that? Is that because they've never read these hadiths? Well, it's just... like uh, Hasim al Hakim or Hakim al Hasim, whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> That's how. And, and Nuria, by the way, look at this. Who's narrating this? Aisha herself. I know Aisha, mad respect every time it's a domestic violence or a thing related to women or their status or being equated to dogs and donkeys. Narrated Aisha is my favorite sun, uh, hadith to search on sunnah.com. I think she was I'm, low. Like, I'm like, talk to me, girl. Tell me what else. Tell me what else you saw from your eyes or uh, whatever that was recorded. Uh, because this is the only time, Hara, sorry, just one quick point. This is the only time really in Islam that we have a flicker or a glimmer of anything that's happening from a woman's perspective. Every jurist, every scholar, every hadith compiler, every companion of the prophet is male. The only voice that penetrates through is the initial history with Khadija when Muhammad is getting his first convulsions and Khadija trying to convince him that he, if you sit if you sit naked and if I can sit on your lap and stuff, are you still a, are you still getting the revelation? Oh, you are. Okay, that means it's definitely from God. You're a prophet. We see Khadija doing that and then we Oh, then we just lose women in history because they're just being beaten and they're just being killed and they're just being raped and going on. But the one voice that peers through, like Aisha saying, oh, there was that verse on breastfeeding, but I went to bed and I don't know, a tame sheep just came and ate it. You go, girl. Of course, you're going to throw that in the dustbin and say, oh, yeah, I was safe. Yeah, but she didn't stand up for any Huh? Yeah, but she she just casually I, I don't know maybe she was low key uh, low key reporting this so uh, no, but we Harris, don't forget do you it. Do not agree that uh, who else as a woman can you hear from in Islam? Tell me, name me one. No, 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 no. I get it, I mean, uh, but I'm 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 just saying like yeah. Look, fair enough. There's another hadith as well. I think I should add that to this list where she said where she did say that I've never seen the condition of women so bad. As I have seen, no woman suffers as much women. as the believing women. That's exactly yes. what she said. When yeah. on that hadith, when some woman's uh, a body was greener than her clothes because yeah. she was yes. bruised so badly from being beaten. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, th- th- there's another glorious hadith. The Prophet said, "None of you should flog his wife as he flogs a slave, and then have sexual intercourse with her in the last part of the day." Sahih Bukhari five two or four. But but this is an uh, this is another uh, bad one because. You could say, okay, prophet is saying that don't beat, don't flog your wife uh, very severely, but at the same time, you can't flog your slave, you know, because slaves could be flogged. So that is the treatment of, uh, you know, that is a treatment of uh, women in Islam. Anyway, I've got, I've got a lot, loads more, but um, we could probably talk about some of the time. If you like these videos and want to support me in my activism, then you can support me on Patreon or PayPal. Stay free, everyone.